Tina Turner lived and sang beyond her pain. Tina Turner died on May 24, 2023, aged 83. The pop star is being mourned all over the world, but she almost didn't make it. Turner was almost 40 before she broke free from abuse. Her marriage was a horror story. Her life was plagued by pain and disease. I had a terrible life, Turner said. But I just kept going. You just keep going. Tina Turner was born in a May Bullock in 1939. When she was 10, her mom ran away. She couldn't stand her husband's abuse. He didn't stick around for long either. Tina and her sister were raised by their grandmother. When their grandmother died, the sisters moved to St. Louis. As a teenager and a wood frequent R&B clubs in the area, she met Ike Turner at Club Manhattan. He saw Anna singing with the house band. Ike started giving her clothes and jewelry to wear for performances. Initially, Anna found him terribly ugly, but Ike was very persistent. He was eager to mold her into a money-making starlet. It was Ike's idea to rename her Tina. Ike attached his name to hers for future recordings. Anything she released would be credited to Ike and Tina Turner. He arranged their quick wedding. After the ceremony, Ike took Tina to a live show at a brothel. Tina said her wedding night was an awful experience. It left her on the verge of tears, but the years that followed were worse. Ike mercilessly beat her. He once threw hot coffee in her face. Tina sustained third-degree burns. At one point, he broke her jaw. Tina tried to kill herself by swallowing 50 sleeping pills. She woke up in the hospital. Ike was there, standing at her bedside. You should die. He spat at her. In 1976, Tina couldn't stand it any longer. She fled to a Dallas Ramadi. She only had 36 cents and a mobile gas card in her pocket. Her face was swollen from a recent beating, but she found the strength to file for divorce. Ike sent his men to intimidate her. They shot up Tina's new lodgings. Tina was so scared, she slept in the closet, but she persevered, slowly gaining her footing. By the time of Ike's death in 2007, she was a superstar. Tina retired two years later. Her final tour brought in $130 million. In 2013, Tina married Erwin Bach, a German music executive. She suffered a stroke three weeks after their wedding. She had to learn how to walk all over again. In 2016, she was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. Tina refused treatment in favor of homeopathy. This resulted in total kidney failure. Her new husband gave her his own kidney. In 2018, Tina's son, from an early fling, Raymond Craig Turner, killed himself. I have no idea what pulled him down. She said, I think it was something with being alone. After the kidney failure, Tina said she was ready to die. In Buddhism, you accept the life and the death. I was ready, I just thought it was my time. But she carried on for six more years. I'm really thoroughly happy. She said in 2018, she spent her final years living a quiet life in Switzerland. Erwin Bach remained by her side until the end. Death is not a problem for me. Tina once said, I really don't mind leaving. May she rest in peace.